good morning to you laddies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where I will get into a proper orbit this time, I swear, I will, I've, after the last video I went ahead and I rendered it and I edited it and I uploaded it and all that stuff and I went off and I said you know what I'm gonna spend some time in my spare time actually just playing this and trying to get into orbit and then the first time I tried after I recorded I got straight into orbit, a proper orbit. Then I was like, you know what, I have some fuel, let's do other stuff, I don't want to land again, and I got to the moon! I actually got to the moon, I crashed and died in a big fiery blaze, but I got to the moon, so surely I can do it again this time, and we're gonna build the exact same spaceship again. I know you guys are probably sick of seeing this spaceship, and a lot of you have been saying, Jack, build some big ass spaceships with huge rockets and big, giant, Penis. I will build giant rockets later on. I will do all that stuff, but I want the series to go on for a while And if I jump right into making giant ass rockets and blowing shit up and making planes and everything Then it's just gonna get boring really quickly I'm gonna end up topping myself and then not being able to do anything cool after that again So I'm gonna try and pace the series out where I do baby steps at a time and you guys can get to see stuff progressing well because some people who might not have played this game and then go off and play it and have seen these videos as their only source of knowledge for it, they won't know what's going on if I jump too far ahead. So let's just build the same ship again. Uh, I'm not sure how to set out my staging properly yet. A lot of people have been saying, Jack, put your parachute and everything on a different stage so it's not all the one and I don't really know how to do that yet. I haven't got that far in my tutorials and whatever. So I'll do that stuff after, but for now we're just gonna do simple shit. I don't intend on coming back anyway. I don't want to come back and land on Earth again, so I might just put a nose cone on this. To make it more aerodynamic. Aerodynamic efficiency, I'm all about that. Propulsion! Ah, uh, we need one of these. The liquid engine. Somebody told me- Oh my god, my nose is as itchy as someone who did cocaine. Somebody told me that liquid engines good for space, solid engines good for Earth. What are these? Are these all liquid? These are all liquid anyway. Okay. <laughs> uh, we need another decoupler now on this. If you guys are always wondering why I'm like looking down like this and I can't see my screen, it's because my microphone is right here, my stand is in the way. And my room isn't very big so I don't have a lot of room to move stuff around so I kind of have to look over my mic stand a lot. And I might put some solid boosters on the side just to give it that little extra push that it needs. Uh, we need wings now. Perfect! Coming together nicely. See how quick I build my ships now? And I know what's going on, I still don't understand the staging. Uh, does, it, does it work that way? Does it work from bottom to top? I think it might. I don't need four, I don't even need any of them. I can just get up with this alone and then use this engine here to fly around in space. That's what I did last time, but just so I'll have more of my ship and more to do and just more power and just more of everything. More is best. Best is more. I think that should be enough. Like I said, I am just trying to get into space, trying to get into an orbit and I'm trying to get to the moon maybe. But I don't really have any intentions of landing there. I might do that again after. Although, should I put something on this? Like a landing can? Just in case. Where is the landing can? That doesn't look right. That looks fucking weird. Where's the legs that you can put in these things? Why'd you put an external command seat on that? Could you put an external seat on that and put a Kerbal in it? And just watch him go up into space like that? Okay, there's two of them. There's the LT1 and there's the LT2. What's the difference? Mass, 0.5. They're almost identical except this one is smaller. I think that that would be awesome. Do I need something though? No, that's not gonna work, is it? Because when I do this, my engine's gonna be down here. So I might need to put these things on this, like that. That probably isn't gonna work very well. Sure, if that's the case, then I don't even need this. Yeah, so when I go to land, then I will have an engine to kind of back thrust against it, so I'm not just coming straight in. And then I'll have these dudes to come down. Except do I right click these? Yeah, like that. Oh man, I thought it'd be a cool animation. Okay, I think you might need to have a proper name this time. Orbit Moon Lander. Yeah, you're gonna have a proper name this time, You, because you're gonna do me proud, aren't you? Aren't you? I don't care if my staging's wrong. If any of you are uh, sitting at home watching this going, Jack, your staging is wrong. I don't care until it breaks. 
If I'm in space and I explode because my staging is wrong, then I'll fix it. But for now, screw that, let's launch! Okay, and she sits pretty. Okay. Dear space gods, guide this tender rocket. Okay, let's go! Straight up we go! Where is my speed? Okay, 100 meters per second. That's very, very fast. I still don't know the whole deal with that. How fast I should be going. I think that that might be too fast. <laughs> Screw it, who cares? Where's my fuel? I'm running out of fuel at an alarming rate. That is really quick. But I kind of wanted that because I got halfway there without even, without barely using my rocket. Barely using this. And now we can go to the right. It's like I'm up here now already and I still have three quarters my tank of fuel. So that's awesome. I'm gonna be the best astronaut ever. Oh god, my ship is going weird. Why? Is I falling again? I don't know, but I started to go to the right a lot. Why do I have to f fight really hard against this? What is happening? Something's not going well. I'm having to fight really hard against my ship to keep it at 90 degrees. I am hammering my A key to go left and it's not working. I don't know why. It's okay, I'm almost there anyway. Not the smoothest launch I've ever had. My last one was a lot easier. But who cares? I'm up in space now. Oh, not yet. I'm not. This has to be at 70, does it? Yeah! You know you're in space because the music starts. Okay, now we can start dicking around with this. We want a nice circular orbit. My periapsis hasn't come up yet. What way is this? Okay. Keep going till you get a periapsis. 99 and 110. That's pretty damn even. 100, 136. Well, it's not that even, but screw it. I don't care. Now down here, we have to burn for a minute and 20 seconds. And we do that in a minute's time. I'm gonna boost when I get to about 16 seconds. Just so I have enough leeway either side of it. I have to burn for a minute and 20 seconds, so that's a- that's a long burn. Okay, burn. If you see this, my blue line then comes out to meet my orange line. And any of you guys who played this game normally, who are telling me all this stuff before, are sitting there going, Yeah, Jack, we know. We've done it. Leave me alone, I'm not that good at this game. Clearly. Almost there. Almost there. And... Stop! Half fuel! Why did that happen? I had a lot more last time. I think it could be because I added these. I think there's like more weight to my ship. But now, you guys see, I'm in a circular orbit. And I can get rid of this. Beautiful! What kind of an orbit is it? 193, 89. That's way off. That's fucking... Crap. <laughs> that's not circular at all, but that's because I had a crappy start. I went up and I was going all over the place. But yeah, I finally made it into an orbit. Now, if you go to add more maneuvers, you can do this. And you can go way out, which is what I will be doing. And you don't have to burn for half as long when you do that kind of stuff. What I like about the node system is that if you come around and you meet the moon, the nodes actually change. Like if you get into an orbit near the moon, the nodes change and this line goes all over the place and it lets you know where you will end up and it lets you know that if you're going to connect with the moon. Which is really nice because the first time I hit the moon, when I crashed into it playing in my own time, that was how I actually did it. Because I was like, I wonder if I go out that far will I hit the moon? And then I went out and I went out and I went out and then all of a sudden my nodes changed and it said moon, like, incident or moon contact or something. What's this? That's another planet. Oh god, I'm getting like a really creepy feeling. It's a- it's really weird when you do that stuff. It makes you feel really freaking small. Wait, wait, what? No, I don't want to do that. I wanted to set the moon as my target. Oh, there's another moon out here. Oh. Okay, I fixed it again. Now you can see that my line goes through the moon, but it, it doesn't- like the lines don't change because by the time I actually get there, when I actually do the burn, the moon won't be there. The moon will be like over here. But I'm gonna try and go out and then... Hmm, I don't know. I, I might try and meet the moon somewhere. Oh, there we go. I changed them. Now you can see the second line comes up. If I keep going in that perfect trajectory the way it is, 
then I will eventually escape the moon, so I'll go to the moon, its gravitational pull will swing me around and catapult me out past it, and then I'll come back around again. But if I get to here and I change my stuff, I should be able to land on the moon, so I want to get to here and then change stuff, because when I get to here, the moon will be down there where that orange ball is that pops up down here. Now my node is in 14 minutes, so I'm gonna point my little man at my marker. Like this, this is where I have to be. And I'm going to fast forward time a small bit. You can, you can warp a lot faster when you're out in space, depending on how far away from the planet you are. Look at me pretending that I'm teaching all you guys. <laughs> Playing this and <laughs> saying all this stuff. Yeah, if you get out here and you hit the moon, you're gonna be you're gonna hit the moon at that stage. And you see the line around here, me thinking I know all this stuff when I was absolutely horrible at the game in my last few videos. But yeah, if these are the videos that some people have seen for the first time, then you need this kind of stuff in it. Oh man, am I even gonna have enough fuel to do this? Oh, I hope so. Oh, please let it happen. Oh god. I think my fuel might run out. No! No! You mother! I didn't even get near it! God damn it! I'm gonna go end up around in this orbit. Oh man, I really thought I'd be able to do it. I did it last time. I don't know what happened this time. My lander legs hardly made that much difference. This is as far as my orbit takes me. This is the max past my apoapsis. Well, more or less. You see Kerbin off over there, and look how close the moon is! Oh man. I have no fuel now to do anything. Let's just... There we go! Bill, you're gonna wander off in space and you're gonna die. Haha! <laughs> well, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna revert back to the space center and I'll cut out all the launch sequence and try and get back out to the moon again. Okay, I know I said I cut back to where I'm in space, but is this a stupid idea? <laughs> I don't know. I added an extra fuel tank to this. So I'd actually have more when I was up in space. Like I'd have double what I had just now, but see the thing is when you add more stuff your ship gets heavier and it's harder to do stuff, so like, you want the most efficient ship, where it burns the least amount of fuel with the least amount of weight. And right now, I'm just adding stuff for the sake of it, and I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if they're gonna actually burn. I'm just gonna try this, and see what happens. Your Orbit Moonlander version 2, I guess. Oh, let's launch! I think my problem is that I'm traveling too fast, and I'm not using my fuel properly. I'm kinda just... Blowing out a ton of fuel for the sake of it because I can. Ugh. And the, those four last time got me to 50, and th this time they only got me like to like 30. But I'm getting up into space now. Well, near enough. Going nicely. I'm angling it a bit more this way, so I get a bit more of a uniform shape. Though I don't know. That's perfect for a circular orbit. It's fine, but. Oh, I'm running out of fuel. Almost gone. I don't know if it's good for getting to the moon. I think that might be my problem. That I'm doing things kind of backwards. Perfect! Right at 100, I got to space. Awesome! And I got to space with a full tank of gas. As you Americanos would say. <laughs> awesome! Now, straight out into an orbit. Thank God for SAS. It makes this whole thing so much easier. And burn! Hopefully we get to the moon. If not, at least I made it to an orbit this time. Okay, there we go. I'm out in an orbit. 78 and 136. That's a pretty shitty orbit. Like a very shitty orbit. Maybe I should try and bring this out a bit. Okay, I fixed my orbit a small bit. It's a bit more uniform now. I've got 130 on my periapsis and 139 on my apoapsis. So it's only 9 off compared to the, like, 30 before. <laughs> So it's a bit better, but now we are heading to Moonland. Oh, and that's perfect, because my apoapsis is this side now rather than this side. Last time when I set out my orbit for the moon, I was aiming that way. But now it's over this side, so I'm aiming this way, and my moon encounter just happened naturally on its own the more I brought it out. So perfect! Now I just gotta line this up and head to the moon. 
and my fuel should last. I almost got that kind of a burn out of like a quarter tank last time, and then it just ran out. So this should be good enough. The only thing is when you're full throttling like this, you can't change the time, you can't time warp. So you actually have to wait through your entire thrust into your estimated burn. So I have to wait like a minute. This game is pretty insane though. Like this is actually how, well I presume this is actually how real moon landing is done. Like how you get up into space, obviously it's a lot more technical, a lot more maths and calculations and everything in it. But like the logistics behind it is all the same and it's really given me a proper, not a proper understanding of space travel, but like a better understanding of like, oh you need to get up here before you can do this. You need to get out of the dense atmosphere before you can go that far and that kind of stuff. And it's really cool, it's really interesting. Okay, coming up to it. Oh, careful now. What just happened? Oh yeah! My new path will take me out to the moon. Nice! Where is the moon now? See, the moon's off over here. But by the time my ship gets all the way around here, it's gonna meet the moon over here. Which is insane! It's crazy! Okay, here we are! We're off out! We're out past the moon's orbit! And we're gonna come back in here, and it's here where I have, to, I have to add a maneuver, maybe. Yeah, because it shouldn't be here. Actually, should I shouldn't have to add a maneuver. I should be good. I should hit the moon anyway. At least I hope I do, because <laughs> I'm kind of screwed if I don't, because if I don't hit it on the first time around, I am gone. Like, I escape the moon here, and it's going to catapult me all the way out. All the way out. Although, I'll come back. Same orbit again. Okay. Here it goes. We're gonna time warp a small bit. Actually, we should probably just time warp. Goodbye, Apoapsis. I can't set a node on you once I pass you. Well, I can, but it's gonna make no difference. Okay, I think this moon encounter here just means I enter the moon's gravitational pull. So I think this is where the moon's gonna be at that. So I'm just gonna add this. Oh god, what's happening? Oh, wrong one. Oh, Jesus, what's going on? Oh, stuff has changed. What the hell is going on? Ah. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to correct this. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to be doing. Okay, 13 seconds away. And I have to burn towards this. Oh god, we're actually going to land on the moon. This is scary. Could you imagine how hard this game was without that node system? Would have been impossible. There we go. Moon is in sight. And it's in our path. Except I think... Which way am I going? Oh god, it's getting closer! It's right there! <laughs> this is nuts! I hit the moon already! I actually crashed into it. I was trying to land and of course my parachute wouldn't open because why would it? I have no air resistance on the moon. And I just ended up crashing into it. Because the moon doesn't have any atmosphere either, obviously. You just come straight in and crash in a big fiery ball. See how close I am now. That is scary! I can't imagine how real astronauts do this stuff. Fucking props to them. Now I gotta aim my dude away from this. So now coming in, I can actually boost every so often and like slow down my landing. This isn't gonna work. I am gonna crash and die. I know damn well I am. But I'm gonna give it my best shot. I have to slow myself way down. I'm 600 meters per second right now. But not slow myself down too much because then I'm gonna actually leave the moon again. So how fast do I want to be going? Probably a lot slower than this. I'm at 14,000 meters above the moon right now. Which is still a lot. My god, I'm so damn close. I'm gonna open these legs now. Oh, they do have an animation! And they come out one by one! That's annoying! How do I make them all come out at the same time? Hey, wait, I'm going back up again! No! I want to be going down! Worst part about this is that you don't know... You can't really judge the distance. Man, I'm still a good bit up. 
Still falling though, that's good. Okay, so right before I'm about to land, I'm assuming that that's gonna hit zero. I'd imagine so. I hope so. So when it gets to about 500 meters, I... Maybe a bit higher. Oh! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> to it than I thought it was! <laughs> All that planning for nothing! Oh man! I gave it a good shot though, right? <laughs> I forgot that the distance uh, depends on how far up the ground is, so I was in like these big caverns and these big hills and mountains, but it's so hard to see because it's so dark and you can actually get lights for yourself. I don't have them installed though. I don't think. Oh, uh, maybe I did. Oops. Well, anyway, that was my attempt at landing on the moon. I will do it soon enough. Now you guys know that I can get out into an orbit and I can get to the moon and I can crash into it. I can hit it very accurately. I can get to the moon very accurately. I just can't land on it very accurately. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss and high fives all round. Thank you guys and I will see all you dudes. That's really interesting. So I have to wait for him now before I go in. And then use him to kill. That's how you get more dudes. Yeah, because I stood there for like 10 minutes firing my gun. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead. This guy join me That's how you get more things than last time. Oh, he does just want to get more things. Get out! You kill those guys, I can kill these ones.